over the last few months, I've had a lot of people ask me, Rabbi, what does the Torah think about cancel culture? It's an interesting question, and I'm a little bit ambivalent. On the one hand, there's aspects of canceling that works. Sometimes there's a person in power or in fame that doesn't conduct themselves in a way that is appropriate. And the only way to really change the situation is for a large public outcry, for people to get together and say, we won't stand for that. There's many instances where it's appropriate for there to be some kind of boycott or protest or something, and therefore there's a tremendous value in that, and it's important. At the same time, over the last year or two or three, we've seen that this tool, which can be useful in the right time and the right place, has gotten overused. It's just been a little bit too quick, a little bit too extreme, a little bit too excessive, a little, or not enough thought out. And therefore, there's concern. I think this time of year teaches us what the Jewish approach should be. We have this week the most important day of the year, which is Yom Kippur. And what defines the most important day of the year is that Hashem forgives us. Hashem, in His infinite wisdom and incredible mercy, even though we may not fully deserve it, is willing to say, I will let this go. I will forgive you for the wrong that you did, even if you may not fully deserve to be forgiven. It's one of the great mercies of Hashem and something that's beautiful and special. But our Chachamim teach us that that mercy and that forgiveness only extends between sins between a person and Hashem. But sins between a person and another person, Yom Kippur doesn't work unless the person has asked forgiveness of those around him. And the Rambam teaches, it's very important for us to be the type of person that grants forgiveness when we are asked. We are supposed to be like Hashem. Since Hashem is merciful, gracious, and forgiving, we should follow His lead. And we, when asked, when it's called for, we too should be able to say, you did wrong, but we're gonna give you a second chance to be better. We're gonna give you a third chance to be better You've not necessarily earned it, but sometimes people need that right. Thinking about that really helps us understand how we should address cancel culture. We should not be so quick. We should not be so excessive. We should look for situations and deal with them the appropriate way. And in many situations, we need to learn how to give someone a second chance. And often, in that merit, Hashem will look at us and say, you gave him a chance, you gave her a chance, I'm going to give you a chance. Bezrat Hashem, this year will be a year of forgiveness and mercy and love from Hashem. Yizkuru l'shanim v'yavot.